So if I had to go back in time and give my younger self advice, what would it be? What's crazy is I don't think I'd listen to myself because when I was a teenager, life was pretty good. I was just scouted by the St. Louis Cardinals for baseball. Pretty much baseball was my life. So somebody came and told me, you know what? Sit down. In the future, you're not gonna play baseball. You're not gonna play video games. I would have probably told that person to <laughs> off. My name is Ryan O'Neill Knight. I was born in Toronto. Moved to Brampton actually when I was seven and now have been there ever since. I'm 32 years old now. My father always kept throwing different opportunities at me. He would say, hey, you should think of starting a business. Hey, you should think of running for politics. Hey, you should think of investing in the stock market. I could have started a business when I was in high school. I could have ran for politics when I was in my early 20s. There's all these crazy things that you could have done if you had listened. After I became a father myself, you realize no matter what you say, your kids are gonna do what they wanna do. And it's kinda, you just have to be there almost as a umbrella, just to catch them before they do something really crazy and let them do what they wanna do as long as it doesn't hurt them. When I was coming out of high school, I was like, oh yeah, I'm good at math, so I'll go into accounting. But sitting still for me is not, as you can see, like I'm moving all over the camera, but I just can't really sit still. So just looking at numbers for the next 60 years at a desk didn't match. It was always my father that kind of kept throwing out the hints, like, hey, you should start a business. Hey, you should be an entrepreneur. It's the only way to get rich. Don't work for somebody else. I started a business, so I do mobile car cleaning and our company is called Detailing Nights. When I was able to start my company, and really have that freedom to make decisions, make changes, and just really go with any ideas that I have. I feel like that has been the most influential or the best reason for starting a company for myself. After I started talking about my company, especially to my friends and family, and then now to mentors that I have, or just even strangers, when they hear that, I took that leap of faith and said, you know what, I'm just gonna try this business and see where it goes. They wanna see you succeed. I've never really encountered somebody that has heard I've started a business, heard what I do, and then has said, wow, I'm gonna figure out how to make sure you don't succeed. You know, it's always positive. So I would say, take that first step and act on your idea.